Madrid, as you know, it's a, it's a town that always it's, uh, has the, the, the aspiration to be one of the important places uh, around the uh, in the world of uh, organizing big events in the world of sport. Uh, just last uh, few months ago, uh, Madrid was one of the towns, or one of the cities in the world to, to host the Olympic Games, being candidate into the Olympic Games. On, 2022. So, uh, for us in the Equestrian World, it's a very, it's a very nice uh, venue. It's a, it's a wonderful event for the city of Madrid and for the sport of the, of the, of the, of the horse jumping uh, to have this event here in, in, in Madrid. We spent three years in Valencia, which was a very nice uh, city, very nice place. But Madrid was a dream for us to to organize that in, the, in in such a wonderful place with uh, these ambience, uh, like being in the countryside, but being downtown, a, a big city of in Europe. That's uh, great for us, for all of us. We are in the middle of a big town, a big city, European city, but in, at the same time, the, the atmosphere is uh, being in the in the countryside, and we are downtown of the uh, of the capital of Spain so it's uh, the Club de Campo Villa de Madrid is an excellent place to organize such an event like like the Global Champions Tour and we finally we are here organizing that for four more years so we are very happy about that the question is sport it's as, at the same time it was uh, in Spain in Europe it was uh, all all the time it has been perceived as a very elite elite uh, sport we can um, perceive now that there is a uh, open the, the sport is, is being open and open every year so young kids yeah, everybody is a, a little bit approaching to that that sport and it's very important the television the TV like you to, that the possibility of the, the the top level of the question can be watched by TV for for the kids and everybody so it's important in the in the world of the globalization that the possibility of the media like TV can approach uh, the the jumping as you know this show has a hundred and four editions so uh, I think that the global has the, the, the five star quality. Of course, it was a five star event in Madrid, but uh, the, this is the global championship is the sixth star for that event. So it's the, the, to be part of a, a global uh, tournament. That, that, that's important for Madrid as well. Being, being at the same time, 104 editions uh, that brings to the global championship as well some kind of. Uh, uh, prestige and, and uh, an old-fashioned uh, way to to see the world, the, the question world. Yeah. I believe that we uh, the global is arriving to the the, the, the exact uh, size of the of the of the of the uh, the, the, the idea that I, Ian Tops got at the beginning. So I think that now it's uh, really a, the most important global uh, event in the Equestria world. Last year you were in uh, Doha. How was it? Which was the atmosphere that you breathed? Well, it's different. It's a different world, uh, the, that part of the world. But it's very interesting the way in which they are promoting the, the, this kind of events and as well the, the, the way in which they, the, we can as well learn some things about these countries and how they, they, they push the, the sport all over the world because uh, there are countries that they, they are investing in a sport all over the world, in media, in, in, in other sports, in football, but in equestrian as well. That's very important for us.